My name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Test A Test in the Desert. Jesus is tempted. Let's read. God's Spirit led Jesus into the desert. He had nothing to eat for forty days and night. After that, Jesus was very hungry. So God's Spirit led Jesus into the desert, and Jesus didn't have anything for forty days and nights. He was very hungry, and so he. Knowing that Jesus was hungry, Satan tempted him. He pointed at, to the rock and said, "If you're the Son of God, tell these rocks to become a bread." So Satan knew that Jesus was very hungry, because Jesus didn't ha- have anything for forty days and nights. So Satan started to tempting Jesus. He was pointing at the rock and saying. That you're the son of God, you can do everything. Tell these rocks to become a bread. Do you think what will Jesus do? Jesus really can make the rocks into the bread. Satan tempted Jesus. Jesus answered Satan using God's word from the Bible. Is to not. Just bread that keeps people alive. He said, their lives also depended on what God says. So Jesus answered Satan using the Bible's word and said, people. Their lives are also dependent on God, what God says. Jesus didn't. Jesus said from the Bible words. Next, Satan took. Jesus to the top of the temple. If you're the son of God, jump off. The scripture says that God's angel will rescue you. So next, Satan looked at Jesus and told him that jump off because the scripture says that the angels will rescue him. Next, Satan also tempted Jesus. Question: Did Jesus turn rocks into bread when he was hungry? No. Jesus didn't turn rocks into bread when he was hungry. So Jesus used God's word to give his second answer. Do not put Lord your God to the test. He said, quoting from the Bible again. So Jesus didn't tempt it by Satan. Jesus told him that do not put the Lord your God to the test. From the Bible's word. Bible jam. Goodness. Finally, Satan took Jesus to the mountain and showed him all the worlds, kingdom of world. This can be yours, he said, if you bow down and worship me. So finally, Satan took Jesus to the Top of the mountain, and like he showed it the whole world, 
and he told them that if you bow down to me, I'll. This can be yours. Do you think how Jesus will tell him? John of the dash saying angels were <laughs> angels would rescue him. Number one, the mountain. Number three, mountain. <laughs> And number three, I the temple. Number three was the correct answer. Go away, Satan! Jesus commanded. Then he quipped the God's word one of one more time. For this return, worship the Lord your God and save him all. I serve him only. So, Satan was kept tempting Jesus, and Jesus said again with the God's word that. It's written, worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. We should only serve Jesus our God. As soon as Jesus said that, Satan left them. Then angels came down to care for him. Jesus has had factored temptation and hadn't sinned, not even once. So as Satan left Jesus, angels came down and cared for him. We should only serve our God, the one, the one true God, and Jesus has faced the, the temptation, and Jesus also didn't sin, not even once, not even once, he didn't sin. When Satan tempted him, Jesus quote God's words from the Bible and never sinned. True. Yesterday I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another ghost story? I'll see you next time. Bye.